Dabo Sweeney, the Clemson head coach, has a new contract. That is correct. You heard me correctly. Even after a disappointing season last year, he does get a new 10-year, $115 million contract. And the funny part about it to me, at one, it's, it, this puts him right behind Nick Saban again. So Kirby Smart won a national championship. He was boosted up to be the, the highest uh, paid college football coach. And then after that, Nick Saban got a boost to be the highest paid college football coach. And now, Dabo Sweeney, of course, gets boosted up to be the second highest paid college football coach right behind Nick Saban, right above Kirby Smart. So Kirby is just out here getting the everybody paid. He is doing the damn thing. And cheers to him for that. Uh, Grace Rayner, of course, covers at Clemson over at the Athletics. Uh, Dabo Sweeney received a new contract that runs through 2031. He'll make $10.5 million in 2022 and will incrementally work his way up to $12.5 million at the end of the contract. And here's the funny part. His buyout for the Alabama job remains one and a half times higher than the buyout for any other school. Athletic departments, ADs, presidents, if you are worried about your coach leaving you, get this put in there. Whatever school you're scared of, go ahead and do your extension, etc. You know, James Franklin, Mel Tucker, all these different ones that have gotten these gargantuan contracts. Go ahead and put in there the schools that you are worried about them leaving you for and then make the buyout that much higher. It's like, hey, if you want to leave me to go to Maryland, then okay, that's fine. You know what? We'll even take the buyout down if you do that. But if you want to leave for one of these bigger schools, for example, for Penn State last year, it would have been USC, uh, put USC in the contract. I mean, my gosh, like, how hard is this? I, I feel like I feel like people overthink these things. You don't have to pay them that much more money. Give them a little bit of a bump, especially if their performance on the field does not indicate that they need one. <laughs> James Franklin. Uh, but after that, yeah, like, just toss the school in there. Like, make it where they have to pay you if they want the coach. This seems simple, right? I, I swear to God. I, uh, it's so it's so frustrating. All right, let's let's uh, let's move along. Next one up, uh, congratulations to Dabo Sweeney for that. By the way, that's a massive contract. We will see if he is worth it. I understand that he brought two national championships to Clemson. I know that he's rebuilt that entire program. But was that him or was that the AD? Was that Dan? Just a question. Just a, We'll see about these new coordinators and whatnot. The new offensive staff only has 11, no, 12 years of Power 5 experience, and I think all but one of those is at Clemson. Just saying. Just saying. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.